we present a case of bilateral adenoviral subepithelial corneal infiltrates, causing significant loss of visual acuity. Symptoms first presented more than six months ago, since then the patient was left with a best corrected vision of four tenths in right eye and six tenths in the left eye. Corneal imaging revealed a mean thickness for the streamline filtrates of about 124 micron in the right eye, and 117 in the left eye. Significant irregular asymmetrical astigmatism and higher order aberrations were present in both eyes, due to the numerous infiltrates. Therefore, the only viable option to improve visual acuity was to perform bilateral topo guided PTK. First, we remove the corneal epithelium by applying a 50 micron PTK laser treatment. This procedure takes less than 40 seconds and will create a smooth stromal surface for the subsequent laser treatments. Now we will continue with the topo guided treatment, which will smoothen the stromal surface in order to significantly reduce the irregular astigmatism and higher order aberrations. For this step, we import the data from the topolizer system, and it is important to notice that the treatment by itself will induce refractive error, therefore we have to aim to compensate for both the topo-guided treatment and the stromal ablation that will be required to clear the corneal infiltrates. It is also important to take into account the prior refractive error, but in this case the patient reported to having normal unaided vision prior to the conjunctivitis. So we assume that any prior refractive error would be minor and decided to avoid any astigmatic correction. Now we will continue with the phototherapeutic keratectomy treatment, in two components. First a 50 micron ablation with 7 mm opticals on is performed. We chose to divide the PTK, because after the first 50 micron, we assess the smoothness of the corneal stroma and the remaining round irregularities. Then we decide whether to carry on with the planned treatment or to adjust the second ablation. The second component, consists of a 40 micron PTK treatment with a 6.5 mm optical zone. Now we end the treatment by applying mitomycin 0.02% during 40 seconds. A soft bandage contact lens is applied and the procedure is complete in the right eye. The same strategy will be applied to the left eye, by first removing the corneal epithelium using a PTK eczema laser treatment. Secondly, we apply the topo-guided treatment to improve the corneal shape and reduce irregular astigmatism, once again correcting only for the expected error induced by the treatment itself. This treatment will remove about 25 microns of corneal stroma. Now we continue to clear the corneal infiltrates by performing two PTK treatments 
the first with a 50 micron depth and 7.0 mm optical zone. The second treatment is only 30 micron, as the left eye had a better higher order aberration profile, and mean depth of infiltrates was lower than in the right eye. As for the right eye, we finalized the treatment by applying mitomycin in order to prevent stromal haze. The cornea is irrigated with balanced salt solution and a soft bandage contact lens is applied, the procedure is now complete. On first post-op day, a slight improvement in vision was already apparent. After one month refraction stabilized, the corneas are clear and the patient is very happy with unaided vision of 9 tenths and corrected of 12 tenths. In both eyes a significant improvement in total corneal astigmatism was achieved. Pendocam chime flug imaging clearly highlights the quantity and density of the preoperative corneal infiltrates. Postoperative analysis reveals the effectiveness of this laser technique in restoring corneal transparency.